Now, short codes is really the little fiesta resistance of pretty much any WordPress theme. Most WordPress themes do support short codes. The ultimatum experience has tons and tons and tons of short codes. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make ourselves a brand new page and we'll just call that page my short codes. Now short codes are little built-in snippets that the programmer pre-programmed into the back end to make your life very, very enjoyable. Now, short codes is part of the visual tab in a post or a page. What I mean by that, if I select the text tab, eh, no short codes, because short codes are visual. So you have to have visual turned on. And this is the icon for the ultimatum short codes. Now, what I want to caution you on is if you recall back we made slideshows at the same time I turned on my short codes. So let's go back to ultimatum settings just to share with you where that was. Say that five times fast. Under advanced settings, extra settings, and we turned on short codes. So as an example, if I turn short codes off and I go back to my page, I just hit the back button a few gazillion times, you will see if I refresh this page, you will see that I have no short codes. You can say, well, what's that guy Robert talking about here? He's telling me to select this icon, and there's no icon there. Well, because you missed a step, which is fine. So let's say you watch these videos out of order because you looked at the title and go, yeah, I get that, I understand it, boom. So let's just review this again. You need to go under ultimatum settings, and based on these choices, we go to advanced settings, we go to extras, and make sure short codes is turned on. And save the changes. Therefore, when I go back to my pages and I select my page called short codes and as long as I'm in the visual environment again if you're in the text environment you're not going to see that and there is short codes now short codes for those of you that are new to this or any text that you find inside of square brackets this guy short codes are inside of square brackets now if I do this that's technically what a short code looks like, but that's not going to do anything because it wasn't programmed to recognize whatever the heck that is. But just to share with you, you can recognize and identify a short code because short codes are inside of brackets. So let me share with you how simple this is. I click right here, and it's going to bring up my short code gallery. Now, so you don't get overwhelmed, here are all my short codes. Here are column short codes. Here are topography short codes. Here are accordion short codes. Here's Google Maps short codes, chart short code, and video short code. Say that five times fast. Okay, so let's just put a video short code in here by clicking video short code. Now it's going to say, well, what video do you want to put in here? Hmm, what video do we want to put in here? Why don't we go to YouTube and why don't we pick a video from one of my favorite channels? which happens to be, think Dreamweaver, <laughs> actually. For those of you that don't know this, uh, back in the day before I got heavily into WordPress, one of my most popular WordPress YouTube channels, which I have over a million views on and almost 8,500 subscribers, uh, was, uh, you know, I also own Think, think uh, WordPress, Think Ultimatum, I own all that stuff. So I'm just gonna select this one right here, and I'm gonna take this, and that's just a little promo there, yada, 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 yada. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put this right here. And then it will tell me, well, how do you wanna display this? Well, since you, if you're the owner of the video, this basically was presented in a 1280 by 720 environment. So that's how I'm gonna put it in here and hit insert. Now, here's what I wanna share with you so you're not intimidated by this. What you have here is the short code. Okay, so this is the short code opening, just like HTML. That's why this is called overview, this particular section. I'm just wanting you to think how short codes work. Then we're gonna go into the little nuances of my favorite short codes I like to use inside of Ultimatum. So what's happening here, this is plain old simple English. This is the opening short code. So this could be an HTML tag as an example. Now, of course, HTML tags are inside of the less than greater symbol. So if I was to do something like href equals, and then I close it out, okay? But short codes are inside of the brackets. So anytime you see something inside of a left to right bracket, those are known as short codes. Pretty cool, okay? So I'm gonna update that. And if I go to preview this, 
you should be able to see that video. Okay, and there's the video in the full width, which was 1280 by 720. And if I click on that, that's just going to play that video, which is my little propaganda for the best way to learn WordPress is from your WordPress dashboard. But you already know that because you're watching my videos. So that's a little overview of shortcode. Now, very important step here, you can't edit the existing shortcode by clicking here. That's going to make yourself a new shortcode. And again, based on these choices, don't let this overwhelm you. If that's overwhelming to you, just go to the different subsections of the shortcodes. Okay. So again, what I want to share with you is that's how you read the shortcode. And if you wanted to make changes, so let's say I want to change that to 640 by 420. So now if I update this, now notice that preview changes don't happen until you update this. And if I preview the change, now you're just going to get the video presented in a smaller environment. Now again, you can't click here and edit the shortcode. You have to edit the shortcode from here. Now if I click here, you're going to basically see the same thing, except you're going to see this non-breaking space thing. So I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. So the visual is the same as the text once the shortcode is in place. But in order to get the shortcode, you have to click right here. So in our next video, I will share with you how to start out by doing multiple columns in a page. In fact, we're going to leave this right here, and I'm going to choose to put that into a column in our next video. So stay tuned.